My name is Gabe Houston. I started my own firm this year in January of 2018, Houston Law of California. Joey Soulier bought a Suzuki GSXR 600 motorcycle just after Memorial Day in 2013. Ten days later, he was riding his motorcycle and a car pulled out from his right to his left and he had plenty of time to stop. He was only going 25 miles an hour, but at that speed, when his front brake didn't work, he had no choice but to lock up the rear brake and put the bike, slide the bike down, and he ended up sliding about 40 feet into the side of a Suburban. My name's Tom Fair, and I work for the Simon Law Group. A good friend of mine is Gabe Houston, and he told me about this case about a year ago um, in Orange County. We were talking about it, and I became very interested in it, um, primarily because of Suzuki and what they did. They had known for years uh, that the front brakes of their motorcycles, uh, the GSXR, was not working properly, and they concealed this. They hid it from the American public and continued to sell these motorcycles and Joey Soulier happened to buy one of these motorcycles and sure enough, 10 days later, his brakes, his front brakes failed and he crashed. This was in part a product liability case, but there's also a personal injury component to this case. And so with DK Global, one of the things that we used was an animation to really walk us through all of the different medical conditions that Joey had or had suffered from as a result of this crash and to show what he was going to need in the future. This case presented special challenges for us because my client was severely injured but you would never know it by looking at him and he had a left foot Liz Frank fracture he had a right femur that was shattered requiring hardware from his hip to his knee but most importantly and people sort of overlook this he had what's called a patella fracture which means your kneecap Joey had to have emergency surgery uh, right after the incident to put a rod through his entire leg. They had to piece together his patella, which is right in the front of the knee, that was shattered. And it's really like putting a jigsaw puzzle back together. But that was just the beginning of his problems. He had to have four other surgeries after that. He suffered from infections, problems with the hardware that was inside of his leg. He had a ruptured tendon during physical therapy so it was just a miserable process for this young man and having to be um, opened up and, and, and having to have doctors go in and perform these surgeries time and time again. DK Global was able to take those injuries and give a demonstrative that could really show the severity of these injuries and how the repair of these injuries occurred and then furthermore what the future treatment was and in Joey's case it's at least one and more likely than not two knee replacements. Watching a surgeon go in and perform this operation when a jury actually sees that as opposed to hearing it I think they realize this is not something I'd want to go through. Suzuki Motor Corp uh, offered us zero um, from the beginning and they told us very early on that they were never going to offer us a cent and that even if we were going to go to trial and win they are going to appeal the verdict um, and so we had to take this case to trial this case was originally set for trial last year in september 2017 we finally got it in front of a judge and a, a jury essentially in august of 2018 total award from the jury was just over $8 million between compensatory and punitive damages. This case was a true teamwork uh, project. I, this case could not have been prosecuted without the help of the Simon Group and all of the resources they brought. I think DK Global's been great. Um, they're professional. Uh, Alex is professional. They were able to take the things that we were telling them and, and the, the vision that we had, and they were able to bring that vision to life. DK Global, they put out a product on time and under budget, and it was incredible working with them. They were, the product they put out is second to none.